Hello, welcome to the AEW Dynamite Winter is Coming review. I'm joined by KK. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Very, very good. My God, this was one hell of a show. Let's very start at the beginning. Singular. We had a Diamond Battle Royale to determine who will face. MJF next week for the Dim Dynamite Diamond Ring. The winner was Orange Cassidy. The match was pretty decent as a battle royale goes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then we had what was a pretty decent match of Chris Jericho versus Frankie Kazarian. There's very big tensions in the inner circle because MJF tried to throw the towel in. Sammy Guevara stopped him. And then after the match, Jericho said, we're either going to work together or we are going to break up the team. Very dramatic. Mm -hmm. um, I like the pace of that match. Yeah, it's very good paced, very good match. Jericho and Kazarian worked very well together, in my opinion, for that match. Yes. Uh, we then had Britt Baker go against Layla Harish. The um, Layla, yeah, yeah. The match was all right. Uh, Amanda put uh, her lock jaw to for Britt Baker to win. It was mm -hmm. a standard decent women's match. Yes. Uh, then Thunder Rosa came in and attacked uh, Britt Baker. So it looks like we're going to be getting a singles match of those two soon enough. Very much looks so. Looks like it's you know the seed getting planted. Definitely, definitely. We then had Cody Rhodes and Darby Allen versus Ricky Starks and Powerhouse Hobbs. The match was all right, nicely well paced. Um, and that's winners... when things got interesting. Mm, yes, Cody Rhodes won. Uh, wait, actually, no. Uh, bro uh, sorry, my mistake. Darby Allen won the match with a coffin drop. After the match, Hobbs. Uh, and um, Ricky Starr started a beat down. Dustin Rhodes came down. After the mat, after that, uh, Brian Cage ran down to beat up Dustin. And then after that, lights went down. A video package played. Then Sting emerged live. In his great face save, of course. Yeah, Sting is here. Sting is elite. Sting is all elite. He signed a multiple year contract. Whether it's a wrestling contract or not, we don't actually know. It could just be for like Arn Anderson stuff where he's just a manager kind of thing. But my guess is uh -huh. he's going to wrestle. Yeah. You know what? I'm not saying no to this. He might be a manager. He might have like one or like a couple matches. Hmm. I'm going to guess mainly tag team match. Says uh, After that, we get a rundown of next week's Dynamite. We have uh, Dustin Rhodes versus number 10 from the Dark Order. FTR versus Varsity Blondes, which is Griff Garrison and Brian Pillman Jr. They work well as a team, to be fair. They're a good team. Yes. Young Bucks versus Hybrid 2. who The Hybrid 2 attacked Young Bucks earlier in the night. I forgot to mention that. Um, but they were saved by SCU. Uh, we have Lance Archer and the Lucha Brothers versus Eddie Kingston and Butcher and Blade. Abaddon is in action and Sting will speak for the first time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then Hikaru Shida got an interview saying she's not afraid of uh, Abaddon and she will take her down. But then there was a loud clanging and she fled. I mean, who? Then that match should be very intriguing. Who, who did you say? Uh, Abaddon and uh, Hikarashida. Yeah, Abaddon, she has like that Marilyn Manson vibe. Yeah, she's a very creepy character and I like her for that. Yeah. Then we go to our main event of the evening. Impact Wrestling's Don Callis was on commentary for the match. Just, just note that. Mm -hmm. 
the match was um, very hard hitting. At one point, officials were checking on, uh, um, which checking on uh, Kenny Omega, and then uh, Mo uh, Callus grabbed a microphone, saying that Omega's hurt. Omega hurt, hurt but Moxie then hit Don Callus down, causing Kenny Omega to take the advantage, one winged angel to win the championship. Yeah, that ending was very unexpected. I didn't expect that. And then just to make it even more crazy, they ran out of the building, including they ran past loads of people, including Tony Khan, wrestlers, referees, everything. A lot of people were berating them on the way out. Uh, Alex Marvez asked what was happening, and he said, you can find out on Tuesday on Access TV. Yes, the the AEW World Champion Kenny Omega is going to appear on Impact Wrestling. Yeah, you got to tune in Tuesday for that. I mean, I am shocked that well, one that Impact Wrestling is working with AEW clearly. Mm -hmm. Two, the fact that Kenny Omega seemingly has stolen the World Championship from AEW. And three, AEW's got a new champion. So much stuff went on in this show. Sting, Kenny Omega, bloody... Oh, my God. Yeah, it was a lot of events. Yeah. Overall... I kind of wasn't surprised with that whole... I wasn't surprised with the whole um, the collab with Impact and uh, AEW because didn't... Uh, well, when... Uh, back to Impact, when Moose lost his uh, title... Didn't he have like a little phone call conversation with the demo god? I think so. Yeah. So like from that segment, it kind of didn't really surprise me about that. I was generally shocked. Overall, this has probably got to be one of the best dynamites I've seen all year. Absolutely fantastic. It, it delivered on the matches. It delivered on the hype. We've got a new champion. We've got a bit great angle set up for two different companies now. Overall, this mm -hmm. is what excites me about wrestling. Surprises, good matches. And overall, yeah, this has probably got to be my best dynamite. I'd have to give it nine point I'd have to give this dynamite a nine point five out of ten. You took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. I don't that think was... I could ever rate a show ten out of ten. But yeah, that was. Yeah, I was gonna rate it nine point five. Yeah, nine point five out of ten. Best dynamite of the year, hands down. Yes, thank you for watching this review. Thank you joining for joining me, KK. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. We shall see you all uh, later. Bye.